We bet with dumb our man. School taxes girls on how pretty they are. What? You're all weak. The beauty I'm tax. Not talking about your physical weakness. Phantom? Which is obviously true. You're mentally weak. You're concentrating on the pain. You're afraid. Oh, oh they drop! One by one, like dominoes! Maybe we can get a water break? Mm -hmm. It's hot today. Some of the girls may be just dehydrated. Just like a politician. Ask for a donation. Unfortunately, we don't have any water bottles. Why is he Thanks talking? To school. Why is he talking like this? He's talking with so much emphasis and he's whispering at the same time. Budget cuts. Hey. Coach, I'm so sorry. Um, I'm just having one of those days, if you know what I mean. Um, no, no. May I please be excused. Rebecca, of course. I'm sorry. You should have said Thank something you. before. I mean, you shouldn't be pushing yourself if you're not feeling well. Why don't you go to the water fountain? The double standard is appalling. What do you yeah, mean? Yeah, how do what you mean? You're kidding, right? No, I don't know. Maybe I'm just not picking up what you're putting down because I find trick and coding like so much easier than these freaking workouts. <sighs> Come on, I thought that would get a little laugh out of you. What's wrong? Don't you see the special treatment he's giving you Rebecca? Not really. Get up and get going. I mean, coach is a little Oh, he only, he only likes Rebecca. Okay. Crazy, he likes Rebecca. Okay. She said she wasn't feeling well. It's All not right. because she's sick. It's because she's pretty. Hmm. Pretty privilege. I, about that. I do. For too long, pretty girl privilege has allowed some girls to get special treatment, even better than I do. And I'm president. And I'm tired of it. I'm fire him now. Madam president, quit your yapping. You yap, yap, yap. That's all you do. Yes, girl. <laughs> quit your class. yapping. Yo, you can fire him. You're president. Fire him. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. No desserts. What happened to all the desserts? It's not dessert time, it's lunch time. Funny. There's no cookies, ice cream, not even candy bars. So that's funny, I don't get the joke. You're the president of the school. You should know we lost money on the desserts. So because of budget cuts, we had to cut them. Michelle Obama? She took all the good stuff out of school. All the good food. kept the chocolate chip cookies. Those were the best. My absolute favorite. Everyone loves those. I don't buy they were losing money on them. <laughs> Sorry, um, I'm just short for all three. Well, you do have a sandwich, chips, and a drink. One of them has to go. Uh, not sure. Take the I chips away. Or at least some my shift is over with, but you might be upsetting the people behind you. Oh, sorry, guys. My bad. Maybe if Rebecca spent less money on makeup, she had more money for food. Don't be mean. I'm not wrong. Look. I mean, uh, you're not wrong, but you have to say that. I mean, you're saying you're not wrong, but you have to say that, okay? Drink. Are you sure? Yeah. You're so sweet. Thank you. Anything else I can help you out with? Uh, no, I'm good. Actually, unless you have one of those secret hidden cookies. <laughs> Hitting right. cookies. Part of our last dash. We just managed to snag a few before you took them away. Thank you. Here. Get it. Oh, she's about to crash out. She's about to crash out. She's about to crash out. Okay. That'll be eight dollars even. Could you give me a chocolate chip cookie too? I'm sorry, we don't sell those anymore. Yeah, I heard. I mean, from your secret stash. I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about the cookie you just made. Dang! When a pretty girl wanted one. All right, let's just go eat our lunch. Come on. Here. Thank you. You could just put it says no more secret stash. It's a complete double standard. Everyone in life has different advantages. You shouldn't dwell on others. It's lopsided and unfair. That's life. That is what she just what she just said. Is life. I'm just saying, like, like your family. What about my family? Well, they have money. You have money. Not everyone has that. Oh, plus you have natural leadership abilities and social skills. Like, so what if you're not pretty? You are pretty. 
as pretty as. I just want a chocolate chip cookie. Look at mad. She don't want a cookie. She ain't get her cookie. People in the cafeteria. Why you get a mad? You don't got a cookie though. You like you like sixteen years old. I want to sit at that table. Got that six. Hey, honey. How's the presentation going? Okay. Actually, not so good. I'm still $25,000 short in the school budget. I can't balance it out. You got a fundraiser or something? Balance it out. How to bring that money in. Don't you got the fundraisers? Cut desserts. You got dude, not in high school, high school and middle school. You got random people coming in for fundraisers, bro. Talking about cookies and whatnot and pastries and desserts. And no one ever did that. <laughs> no one did that. <laughs> then it was time for like the school dance or something. Like, How come we don't got all this? We don't got all that. Cause you didn't do the fundraiser. <laughs> this happened every year, bro. It's a whole cycle. They come in, hand the pamphlets with the cookies and whatnot. Then at the end of school, you had a little dance. How come my dad don't have this or don't have that? Did they have the disco ball from the ceiling? You didn't pay the fundraiser. You didn't participate in the fundraiser. <laughs> I don't want them to have to cut anything else. Honey. I'm sure you'll figure it out. You are so bright. I'm gonna go take a shower. Okay. Okay. And beautiful. Save money and make money on Depop. Buy your favorite Don't worry, about Depop? And for cheaper than retail. I know you, Depop. Why are you looking at pictures on IG? Do your presentation. Low key a hater too. You're low key a hater too. You can't be serious. Low key a hater. So basically, I write a check and we're done. And that includes the the penalty and the late fee and. Right. Yeah. I'll put it in the mail tomorrow. Is everything okay? Uh, taxes. <laughs> Apparently, I owe another ten grand. <laughs> oh. Are we in trouble? No. No, it's just an inconvenience. Actually, the contrary it means we're we're actually doing quite well. Huh? We had a good year last year, so we're paying a little more. The income tax is progressive. Progressive. The more money you make, the higher tax progressive you pay. flow. That sounds unfair to be punished for making more. <laughs> well, that is life. How many times to tell you? To the alternative. You okay, Erica? Are you daydreaming? Sorry, just thinking about school. Everything all right? I'm just annoyed that some girls, the pretty girls, get better treatment than everyone else. Okay. You are pretty. <sighs> Thanks, Dad, but you have to say that. Well, it doesn't mean it's not true. <laughs> some girls are, like, really pretty, and they just get everything handed to them. Maybe there should be a progressive tax on being pretty. What'd you say? Maybe there should be a progressive tax on being pretty, you know, to help balance things out. Let's balance things out. Thanks, Dad. Uh, she's gonna go cause trouble now. And she's gonna blame it on you, I buddy. I fantastic news. I stayed up half the night last night. Oh, I forgot she's pregnant. I forgot she's pregnant. That's right. I forgot. Shortfalls. And I didn't want to make you get, it. You're getting mad that things are unfair. Do something about your president. You get a man hating on people <laughs> with my cookie. You're the president. You already had a cookie. Any more cuts? And you'll be happy to hear, not only did I not make any, I think I figured out a way to bring back our favorite chocolate chip cookies to the dessert menu. Yes. <laughs> now you're probably wondering how we're going to do that. All those some damn cookies. Things are it's crazy. So tight. Well. I 
I've decided to implement a pretty tax. A pretty tax will be a progressive tax based on how pretty you are. See what you created? You shouldn't have said that to her, man. See what you created? You turned her into a monster. There will be three categories. Average He's already president. 90% will pay no tax. She didn't know how to use her power, and now she's overdoing it. Girls, or the top 10%, will pay a small tax. And the top 1%, or the prettiest girl, will pay the highest tax on all goods and services effective immediately. Override. I'm this Congress. This will solve our school's budget problem. Based on our forecasted revenues of the next fiscal year, implementing this tax will not only cover our budget shortfalls, but will also help us to create a surplus. You can't be serious. Isn't this discrimination? What's discrimination is being told you have to keep doing planks in gym when pretty girls don't. What's discrimination is being told the cafeteria is all out of cookies for average looking girls. But if you're pretty, you can have as many as you like, plus a free drink. Yeah. This is so unfair. Yeah. What's not fair is you getting special treatment. Yeah, and we're sick of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Principal yeah. Matthews, there's no way that you could let this happen. I mean, surely the school isn't okay with this. What's not fair? What is this? Quiet, it's not quiet. Fair. Now, Arika, this obviously has to be some kind of practical joke, right? Arika, mm, do you understand plan? this would be against school rules? I just... I, I, I'm the president! The bylaws... You're fired! You're fired! You're fired! ...we say that one of the primary responsibilities of the president of the student body is overseeing the budget and that they may use whatever means within the law to keep the budget balanced. Within the law, Arika. What am I proposing that's against the law? Any other questions? Mm -hmm. So how will you decide who's in the top 10% and who's in the top 1%? I'm glad you asked. I have someone working on that. Her dad? Her dad? Me? Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You really are serious? Yes, Damn, that friend ain't want nothing to do with this. Damn. Uh, maybe I was hoping that you would tell me that this was all just a big joke and that you actually just stole a truckload of chocolate chip cookies instead. I don't know. Shush, I'm completely serious. And you know deep down, this makes perfect sense. Or you say you're failure. I mean, maybe. Aside from the moral implications. You prefer I steal a chocolate chip cookie truck instead, Miss Morality? Of course not. But to base this decision solely off the way that someone looks, I mean, even if the general consensus is that they look pretty good, should they really be punished for that? Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? We can't control how we look. Oh, yes, we can. I mean, we wash our face. We can't control our features and whatnot. Such a strong word. Listen, what word would you use? Balanced? Yes, we're balancing the scales because they've been tipped in their favor for too long. To create a software app to be truly balanced, you would need a very sophisticated algorithm that would properly measure, in some cases, almost immeasurable attributes. It's nearly an impossible task. The question is, can you do it? Please, 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 please. Oh, you're okay, fine. Fine. Oh, you're fine. Four hours. Okay. And stop staring at me. <laughs> You're in a good mood today. Did you figure out your school budget problem? Yeah, I did. Great. Hmm. So my mom has an bro, what happened, bro? Pick up I the bowl it. of Cheerios, bro. Pick up the box of Cheerios on the table. All the ants and roaches gonna get it. So my Almond milk is nasty. Mask that I converted, and then I added infrared sensors. Oh, and I created I don't an AI. Understand that. any of that? That's crazy. Yeah, that's kind. Of, that's crazy. Yes. Probably. Yeah, that oh, shit. Sure. That's like crazy. Things. I'd like to know it's 100% accurate. So would I. Okay, but I just got the same exact thing that they did. Why am I paying $2 more? Sorry, the scanner says you're in the top 10% of the most beautiful girls in the school. So yeah, that's, all right, this is wrong now. This is crazy. This is wrong. Same price, man. Come on. That means you have to pay. Now, that's got to be fair. Honestly, you're in the top 10% of the most. He said, oh, you're prettier, so I got to car charge you more. That's crazy. Beautiful girls in the school, so that means you have to pay. This Darmar, man, universe is all messed up. <laughs> it's twisted. It's evil. That's so unfair. 
They throw yeah. morals and values out the window for cookies. I don't make the rules. Thank you. Looks like it's working. Justice is finally being served. <laughs> no beauty tax for me. And the best part? Go ahead and add two cookies to the order. Consider this, Madam President. What? It's just a cookie. What's it gonna hurt? I'm not talking about the cookie. I'm talking about this beauty tax. I mean, aside from the, just the general moral implications of it, I just have this terrible feeling that it's all gonna backfire. It won't. The only thing that's backfired is the years of better treatment that pretty girls get. I'm tired of prettier girls having it better. Aren't you? <laughs> Arika, you need to stop comparing yourself. Haven't you heard the saying that comparison is the thief of all joy? Just facts. We're all born with different advantages in life, and we should focus on ourselves. Yeah, that's what others. makes it special. You sound like Zakora from My Little Pony. I know who Zakora is, and I have zero. We all have a purpose. We all have a calling. Wait a minute. Watch. Our journeys are unique. Nothing works. And special in our own unique way. Hi. I'm a licensed dermatologist. Special on Nikwe and have all, all have our different journey. That's what makes it that's what makes it worth it. Twelve dollars? But that that's double what I paid yesterday and I didn't even get the drink or the chips. Uh, oh sorry. Beauty tags, remember? You in the top one percent. Great. Now I can only pay for the sandwich. It looks that way. Can you like make an exception or something? <laughs> the president is looking. Sorry, the I president is right the there. So unfair. How is this fair at all? I just got I'm charged because of the When did we tax. get security cameras put in? The new tax gave us some room in the budget. Plus, it ensures that the tax is being enforced. It's a win-win. We're all special on Nikue. We're one of a kind. Win? And on our own journey. In June That's what of makes 1941, it just before special. World War II, That's what makes FDR it worth approves it. approves Executive Order 8802. Can somebody tell me what this did? Anybody? Okay, Executive Order 8802 prohibited government contractors from engaging in employment discrimination. This was race, color, or national origin. You see. Beauty's not a crime. Don't make us pay a dime. What on earth? Beauty's not I'll a crime. go check it out. I am president dime. after all. Beauty's not a crime. Okay, now at this time, Roosevelt was trying to bring everyone together to avoid a civil war. Don't make us pay a dime. Beauty's not a crime. Don't make us pay a dime. Beauty's not a crime. Don't make us pay a dime. You can complain all you want, but it's useless. The tax is working. I suggest you stop. Unless you want me to raise the tax. <laughs> How she can do it? I'm gonna raise it even more. Y'all keep on complaining. I got another plan. Come here. I thought you were even free though. Right, Cause you're the president. Twelve dollars. What? That doesn't make sense. It was nine dollars yesterday. Praising today. Yesterday Sorry. price ain't today's price. Come on. Don't make the rules. But how does that make sense? Yesterday I wasn't in the top ten percent. Stacy, Carrie, Rebecca, is that you? <laughs> Barely recognized us, huh? We decided that if we put as much effort into looking ugly as we do into looking pretty, then, you know, we might wind up saving some coin. Looks like it worked. Hop on paying the tax. Oh, she finessed you. She got for you got finessed. Bro, you got finessed. Out your socks. Huh? Out your. Shut up. How is this possible? <laughs> oh, this is something crazy. The beauty scanner updates in real time. It scans you every single day. That was a crucial part of the algorithm. She Rose finessed. Dropped me. dead gorgeous every single day. And with some of the pretty girls dressing down and slacking on their makeup, it's no wonder that someone's got to rise to the top 10%. She finessed 
nasty. So He's a nasty. You're saying now, <laughs> I'm in the top ten percent. Yeah, you're fat. You're fat. You're fat. Twelve dollars. Thank you. What are you gonna do if someone just takes it and runs away with it? What you gonna do? You ain't gonna catch them. You don't got no lunch code or anything. Let's lunch code, buddy. All right, don't mind me. You gotta stop adding music. I'm gonna see the whole thing. We are really gonna have to juggle things around. I mean, between what we owe the IRS and, and this new thing with Erica's school. She's put her in a public school. She ain't got to worry about this. What do you do? Bro, she's getting paid to get bullied. <laughs> Dang, you could have got bullied at a public school for free. Dang, what do you do? What's the matter? Is everything okay? Well, there's been a huge increase in the tuition this month. And normally we just pay for the whole year. But we received this letter... About a beauty tax being implemented. You know what I'm saying? You, you know what I'm saying? You paying to get bullied. You just went to a damn public school and got bullied for free. Wow. I didn't realize it's gone up so much. And I actually need some more money for some things because... Wait a minute. Do you not understand what's going on here? We've been giving you more money. Your tuition has gone up a lot. We are struggling here. Wait. I thought you said we were doing fine. That's why the IRS taxed us so much. Is because we were doing so well. Yeah, that is, that is really a big oversimplification, sweetheart. Hmm? Look, you need to understand, because of this beauty tax thing and, and your spending more, and plus the coupled with the, the new tuition hike, I, we are putting out thousands of extra dollars a month, and I just, I just don't know if we can keep up. Okay, so... Get rid of the beauty what tax. What are we gonna do? Get rid of the beauty tax. You fire. You gonna fire your parents? You fire. First, you're gonna cut your expenses. Mom. Immediately. Okay. Oh shit! Oh, I gotta tell you my foot. All right. All right, bro. Stop playing music. I can't believe I've been reduced to taking the bus. There's nothing wrong with taking no bus. Of the school, and I'm broke. Nothing wrong with that. It's great. It's great. You're in high school. Arca? Uh, hello, Rebecca. You're riding the bus? There's nothing wrong with yeah. riding the bus. Being in the See, that's why you should have just went to public school. <laughs> you know, you could have done all this for free. <laughs> you had all this where you getting bullied. You're, getting, you're paying to get bullied, bro. Has created a. You're paying to get bullied. Went to public school for free. For my family. And we got bullied for free. They were leasing my car, and we had to return it until we figure something out. What? It was brand new. That's why we were able to return it. We got lucky. My dad knew the dealer. I wish our tax system was as lenient as your dealer. Yeah. Why? Well, maybe you can just get rid of the beauty tax. It's just all such a mess. You see, my whole life, I've always felt pretty girls get special permission. Special privileges. Man, look at this man checking around. Look at this man. Privileges. Bro, someone need to investigate this man. Look at him. <laughs> he know what he doing. Oh, let me help you out. Let me help you out. Let me help you out. Special treatment. Dang, two guys to help her? It just seems like life is just so much easier for girls like you. And it's unfair, but still, I thought the beauty tax would even things out. But Shannon was right. Just backfired. You've got to understand. I've looked up to you and girls like you my whole life. And I've looked up to you. As president? Uh, why? For one, <laughs> I mean, you have a family, 
that loves and supports you and cares about you. I'm sure your mom and dad care about you too. Wherever my dad is, I'm certain that he doesn't. And my mom, whenever she is home, she's rarely even awake. You know me better than they do. And in addition to that, I mean, your grades, your GPA, not only are you the president of every single club at the school, you're the president of the whole school altogether. <laughs> I guess I'm just a natural leader. You guess? <laughs> you totally are. I mean, Arka, you convinced the entire school to implement a tax system against beautiful people. Who else could do that? Yeah. Uh, I really regret it. I have a few names. My point is, you have a great family and a huge brain and an amazing career and path ahead of you. And you can't even appreciate it, really, because... Because you're too busy comparing so yourself to other people! So naturally to you. You don't know how... You know what I'm saying? You don't know the problems they deal with. I'm just a pretty face. That's where you're wrong. And I've been wrong, too. Y'all both wrong. You are much more than just a pretty face. It's just that you're so... Flipping hot. You need to stop comparing yourself. You need to stop bribing people. Because you're pretty. Or well, both y'all pretty. Like but you need to stop comparing yourself. You need to stop bribing people. Huge heart, too. All this time, I was wishing I was more like you. And I was wishing that I was more like you. What do you do? Hey, maybe we should just start focusing on being the best version of ourselves. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, like Shannon says, comparison really is the thief of all joy. Everyone has different natural abilities to be thankful for. And that's the beauty of it. Imagine if everyone was the same, wouldn't it be worth it, bro? You wouldn't hit the same. That's the beauty of it. And that's what I was trying to say earlier in the video. Just embrace it. Do the good time, the bad time, the ugly. Just try to Arda, embrace it. I'm so proud of you that you came to your senses and repealed the beauty tax. It is for the best. I should have listened to you sooner. I'm sorry. <laughs> Her lunch is on me. The cookie, too. Wouldn't be a proper lunch without a cookie. Thank you. Thank you. What kind of Cheetos are those? Hold on, what kind of Cheetos are these? I've never seen these before. Madam President, I have to say I'm disappointed by your change in stance. You yourself said pretty girls have it easier, and now you turn around and you're buying Rebecca lunch? Oh, my goodness. wrong? No one's life is easy. Everyone's got different natural advantages. Do you think everybody got a perfect SAT score? You heard about my score? Yes, congratulations. You're on you your still want to press her out. <laughs> don't you see? Others might be as jealous of your brains as you are of their beauty. Do you really think so? I know so. I think if we start helping each other instead of comparing ourselves to each other, we're all going to be a lot better off. It took all that. To, he took you all that to realize that. And she paid for your meal. Thanks. And she, <laughs> <laughs> she paid for your meal. No pretty tax. No such thing.